I don't want to overuse the word moment, but it's the only way I really have to explain it when you experience something so moving. You know right when you see it. It's unlike anything else that you experience anywhere else. It's really hard to kind of contain myself. I usually let off a couple adventure yells is what I call it, just like loud screaming or whatever, I don't know. I just get really excited. I mean, it's something that I, I look forward to on every trip. When you're actually out there and you're able to see it yourself, it's just mind blowing, really. And so to be able to try to capture that and share is key. You know, it makes people aware of what's out there and hopefully they protect it, you know, and want to get out there themselves. My office is everywhere. On a log, in a tent, in my vehicle, you need a fail-proof system. You know, before, I was only able to do just photography on the road, and, and now I can do 7K time lapses, 4K video, 34 megapixel photos. After a full day of hiking and shooting, that's only half the job. I have to get back to my station and back that up and process it right away to get that out live the following morning or even sometimes right then and there. And that's a ton of processing that I have to do. Wherever I am, I have to have the right gear to hike and climb and I have to have the right gear to shoot and I have to have the right gear to share it. And if I don't have any one of those things, I can't do my job right. I definitely love what I do and I don't set out to try to change anyone's viewpoints. I don't set out to say anything other than this is what I love to do. These are the kind of feelings that I get when I go out there. Um, it's up to anyone else if they want to go experience that, but it's out there.